Okay, morning. <laughs> this is what you know, so you can guess what it is a lobster pot. Uh, oh, sorry, that I've modified this lobster pot myself because when it came, I wasn't expecting it initially, it was twice the size. Okay, um, so I cut it all down, took all the mesh off, ground it. I've just caught my hand on that, which is this is one of the reasons, so it's nothing bad, it's just a nick, but that will. That's got to be ground down, but also this rope, very, very flimsy. You need something a little bit stronger, really. It's, it's quite cheaply made, but yeah, it needed cutting down. So you got you got a uh, to get to your lobsters or whatever crabs, whatever you got. You got to be you put your bait in here. So that's like dead fish, and this comes down, and then you can get your hand in and grab the lobsters. Okay. So while we were down the coast, uh, it was not last week, the week before, uh, which we were allowed to do, there was no one there, so we did a bit of a beach clean-up. So we got about two bin bags full of, of rubbish and whatnot, that's not having to go at anybody, that's just been probably wind, storms or whatever. So we thought, well, because I went down to fix, to bring the boat back, uh, and it was a, the trailer, and I forgot, hold on, okay, right, so I forgot the wheel nuts to take off wheels to do the bearings on the trailer to bring it back so we spent two hours to get down there uh weather wasn't brilliant so i thought right what can we do so we did a beach clean up um, i didn't do this i'm just showing you this for demo purposes but we had a bit of a bonus let me just show you this. so we did all the about two bin bags full of rubbish and put them in the skips and then went on the beach to have a look around got some driftwood which i needed for another project and we found this all the nets. It's not going to go to anybody, I don't care. Um, but I thought we well, can't leave it there because it will just get washed up again and then fish will get caught in it. So I'm just going to show you this stuff is absolutely brilliant for repairing lobster pots. Look at this. I'll do a close up of that for you so you can see it. So instead of fish getting caught in it, I'm going to use it to repair. That lobster pot over there, that is a bit flimsy. We've got quite a bit of it, which we pulled out. So I'm going to cut it, measure it. So I've got, I've got nothing on the bottom of this. This is just open. So I'm going to do the whole lot apart from the entrance, but I'll probably, what I will do is reinforce the entrance at the back. And this front, and the front entrance where they call into, is a little bit, too wide, it needs shrinking down a little bit. So that's what I'm doing today. A bit of repair on the lobster pot. I'll bring you with this if you're interested, and I'll show you what I'm doing with this netting. Look at it. I mean, I must have, you get caught in that or any other creature, so we just picked it up, thought, well, might as well. Okay, so here we go, look. Thin, it's all right, it'll do the job, but it's not the best for this. <laughs> So, I mean, you imagine getting fish caught in this. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about that. So, what we're going to do is use this to redo all this. So, what I'll probably do is get the widest piece of this. Let me just show you. So, where it starts to get really wide, we've got quite a bit of it, look. Quite a lot of it. And that'll go. So, we'll take a piece off and we'll start over there, cut it. And I want to put it lengthways, so it does stretch quite a bit, it does stretch quite a bit. And that'll cover the whole pot and we'll just do right over, so from over underneath, right over the top, and then we'll make a join and we'll just use this sort of stuff. I don't know if I've got any spare uh, to make a complete new round it. We'll leave that on, there's no need to take that off. And then we might repair the door as well. Okay, measured it where I want to go, we've got tons left over. I've got an actual another pot to do as well yet, so that's what I'll probably end up doing. I'm not going to film me doing all this because you'll just get bored. So a pair of good sharp cutters is quite good, or a knife, but you don't want to slip with a knife. Okay, let me just carry on with this. Right, a little tuck down there. Let's have a look. And what I'll do now is go this way. So I'll measure that. I'll tie them down, tie this down. Then we'll go this way. Well, you can't see that. Sorry, guys, you folks. 
So I may measure this, go up here, probably cut this side of it. So, yeah, I mean, um, look how much I've got left. <laughs> so I've got enough to repair, oh, I've got enough to repair loads, look at this. And I've got another piece over there on the floor, which will be the gate at the front. So when I do that, and that's it, one repaired lobster pot. Easy to do, I just need some twine, what they've used. Looks like they've used something here to repair that. You just buy the twine, that's all you have to use. And then fix it to that. Even this stuff, we can. what's left over here, if we undo the knots and whatnot, you can use that. All you have to do is tie it to the frame. So you would start here. I'll just show you, let's get you in a bit closer. Okay, so you'd start here and you'd pull these close. So you'd hook behind one of them, put it over here and tie it in. Okay, and just do it. You could even just put a loop. So you start here, tie a knot here, go through, go through, and just keep looping these in nice and tight. Then you pull this bottom in nice and tight. That and then you go around the side and do exactly the same the other side because you don't, it'll just be flapping about. Otherwise, you can put a few in the middle of the cage by putting your hand in here, and you can pick them up here and tie them to the railings inside there. That in there, this corner up here. Bring this over, pull it nice and tight, put a couple on here, and then do exactly the same on the bottom again. It doesn't matter much, just, just, just protects it, that's all. Good stuff. So, someone else's waste is someone else's, I can't say money, but could do, lobsters. Anyway, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, we just found this on the beach, so pointless leaving it there. And so straight away, I said to Jane, uh, I'll, re I'll repair my lobster pots with this. Okay, take care. Catch you in the next video. All the best.